afternoon. It's November 8th here in Rolla, Missouri, uh, out at the uh, quarry range to do a little testing of the Robinson Armament XCR uh, modular weapon system. Uh, my name is Jeremy Martins. I'm a, a sergeant for the police department I work for. I've got 12 years of SWAT experience, 10 years as a patrol rifle instructor, and uh, we're here to see if we can get the uh, XCR to choke up on sand, water, or mud today. Uh, through my time as a patrol officer, I've had the fortunate opportunity to carry a H&K 91, a uh, FAL, a uh, MP5, a Micro Galil, uh, several AR variants, and through them all, I think the Robinson Armament is the uh, best uh, combination of features, and we're here to put it to a test today. For the test today, we're using my patrol rifle. It's my personal XCR. I've uh, had it since they first were issued. Uh, within the first six months, I was able to acquire one. Uh, it's got about 15,000 rounds to it. Uh, nothing special has been done to this gun. It's been cleaned and put into condition as if I was working the road today. Uh, for the purpose of the test, you'll see the flashlight's already been removed, and I will remove my optic. Uh, no sense exposing it to the uh, harsh conditions we are. We're here to test the gun and not the optic. Uh, the ammunition used today will be uh, M193 55 grain uh, ammunition. Uh, gas setting will be on setting number four, Magpul P mags, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. We'll do a sand test, a water submersion test, uh, we'll do a mud test, and then we'll uh, beat on the exposed gas tube with a hammer, uh, all in attempts to uh, see if we can get this thing to fail. Come along for the ride today. All right, we're going to start off with the sand test today. The rifle's laying here on the quarry floor. Uh, it's got one loaded in the chamber, safety on, uh, as if I was carrying it on the road. Uh, got a 50-pound bag of average playground sand here. We're going to coat this thing and see what happens. All right, as you can see, uh, the gun's been covered. Uh, no sense pouring sand down the muzzle. Uh, all the points of ingress for uh, foreign matter has been covered. Uh, we're going to take it out of it, straight out of the sand, put rounds down range. On the first two shots, the receiver popped open. I don't know if that was operator error on my part for not getting it uh, closed accurately when I uh, switched out lower receivers to the Magpul stocked one or what. I uh, didn't do it on subsequent shots, so we're going to duplicate the sand test another time and see what happens. Everything's function tested. We look like we're in good shape, so we're ready for round two. All right, she's covered again. This time I picked up some rocks off the quarry floor, so let's see what happens on round two. Let's try the uh, port side up this time. Let's see if uh, putting sand in the ejection port makes any difference. All right, she's buried again. Port side this time. Let's see if the lack of an ejection chamber makes a difference. Doesn't seem to phase it. That concludes our sand test. All right, we're taking it straight from the sand test to the water submersion test. Don't want anybody to think we've uh, cleaned the weapon or staged it in any way. As you can see, we're letting it sit. We're getting all the water out of it, totally submerging it with the sand that was already in it. All right, that's it on the bubbles. Let's see what she does.
Doesn't seem to phase it. We'll try it port side down. Once again, letting all the air out of it, we're gonna go straight from the water, straight to shooting. Function fine, the only thing it didn't do was fail to lock back, but given what we put it through already, so far so good. Let's get ready for the mud test. See the mud we got here? It's a little thicker than a milkshake. Chunks of uh, leaves and sticks and whatever else can fit in there, so uh, should be a pretty good test. As you can see, the gun's still wet inside and out from the water test. All right. Never done this to a firearm, so this ought to be interesting. Let's see what happens. As you can see, we're trying to cover all the points of egress or ingress for a foreign matter. The exposed gas tube has been covered. Uh, the ejection port's been covered. We're ready to go. Well, it looks like enough mud will stop it up. Let's uh, give it a quick bath in the quarry and see if we can get it back to working. In the field, you may not have time for a formal cleaning, so uh, use what you got available and see what happens. As you can see, I didn't manipulate it other than uh, swashing it back and forth in the water. Uh, goal is to uh, let the water just clean the mud out. We got one chamber still stuck in there. We have a clean chamber. Get a little bit of the mud off the magazine. Let's see what happens. Looks like it needs another bath, so we'll wash the mag and the gun this time and see what happens. Magazine and rifle both clean, both coming straight out of the water. He is dirty, the bolt is definitely working slow. That's enough abuse for one day. She's dirty, but she uh, still would function. Outward appearance, no damage to the gun. We'll field strip it here, get it cleaned up, and uh, get back to the hammer test. Thanks for laying along.